హలో నమస్కార్ దిస్ ఈజ్ డాక్టర్ సతేంద్ర కటేవా ఐ ఎమ్ ఎ పిడియాట్రిక్ హిమటాలజిస్ట్ ఆంకాలజిస్ట్ అండ్ బోన్ మెరో ట్రాన్స్ప్లాంట్ ఫిజిషియన్ ఐ వర్క్ ఫర్ మణిపాల్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ హాస్పిటల్ ప్రెజెంట్లీ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ మణిపాల్ హాస్పిటల్ ద్వారకా న్యూ ఢిల్లీ సో టుడే వి వాంట్ టు క్విక్లీ టాక్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఈజ్ సికల్ సెల్ డిజీజ్ so sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder in which there is a defect now the parent either of the parent mother or father both are sickle cell trait which means out of the two copies in a gene one is defective one is normal so the normal is capable of running the normal life but when a baby is born there is a 25% chance that from both the parents the defective gene has come so unfortunately the kid doesn't have a normal copy of gene so we call it sickle cell disease now what happens with sickle cell disease is that inside the red blood cells whenever there is a stress these cells which are normally biconcave from both the sides they, there is a dip from at the center and from the periphery they are you know slightly widened and they are they like this so that they can pass through the narrow spaces in sickle cell disease this plasticity of rbc is gone and they become like a sickle and now one rbc over another rbc over another rbc over another rbc and they just keep on piling on each other and they stop the blood supply so if this phenomena is happening we call it sickling if sickling is happening into a blood vessel which is supplying to brain there will be a stroke into the brain if it is into the area where the blood supply is coming to the bone there will be extreme pain into the bone we call it bone infarction and ultimately the bone dies that part of the bone if it is into the lungs we call it lung sequestration spleen kidney any organ of the body can be affected by this and that is precisely the reason that you know uh, whenever there is extreme pain or there is sickling is happening we give blood transfusion so the normal rbc of a normal donor are going inside the patient which are not sickling anymore and they try to reestablish the blood circulation so now you can understand because of the genetic defect the rbc changes their shape and they lead to the less blood supply or the ischemia and that is why all the complication of sickle cell disease is how do you cure it the only way to cure it is with a bone marrow transplant which we are going to explain into some other video thank you have a safe day